Hey guys, so right now I'm gonna head out to Dongdaemun shopping market. It's late night, I think it opens about 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock at night or like in the evening. And then most of them stay open till about 3 a.m. or like 4 a.m. maybe. So, oh my gosh, you can see me vlogging in the back. I don't know why that's like embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know why. It's literally like 10 minutes down the road from me, so I'm just gonna walk. That's part of the reason why I stayed at this Airbnb because where it's late night, the trains here actually stop running like pretty early. The trains here stop running at like half midnight or something. So I thought, you know, if I'm gonna do late night shopping, then I'm gonna miss the last train. So I better just live walking distance. It's like midnight now, or it's about to be midnight. I'm going to take my dollars. And we're gonna see if we can go and get a bargain down at Dongdaemun. And they will be bargains, let me tell you, because the secret to Dongdaemun, as somebody told me, I don't know if this is entirely true, I may have to research it for you guys, says, I realized I have this problem. I realized this with my sister, like I always used to tell my sister stuff like it's fact, when really it's just stuff that like I was pondering and then in my little brain I'm like that sounds about right and then I like spill it as if, it's, as if it's fact, like I'm like oh did you know that the reason why this happened is because this, when really that's just something I came up with that sounded right so I'm like I'm not intentionally lying or I'm not intentionally saying untrue things, it's just it's just a habit I have where I'm like, oh wow, I just found something out. Better tell everybody what I've just discovered as if it's something that I know to be true. So yes, I do believe that Dongdaemun is wholesale, which is why it's so cheap. Like, well, where I'm gonna shop in Dongdaemun is wholesale anyway. I don't know about all the shops, which means they may or may not let me film things because they want to keep things under wraps. They want to keep things kind of secret because they don't want to let the mainstream people know the prices that things were sold at. Because some of these brands are those sort of brands that go onto these big shops. Anyway, we're gonna go and see what we can find. Hopefully it's something good. Hopefully it's something amazing. My luggage is already full up, but we're gonna make it work. It's gonna work, you guys. So let's go. We're going to get some bargains down at Dongdaemun, yeah, 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 yeah. So when you see this building behind me, that means you're pretty much in the right area for the late night shopping, which I think is over there. The last time that I came here, we came on the train. We came out of a different exit to this, so I'm not entirely sure of the way there, but it looks about right. Wow. Oh my God, you guys, I'm just realizing that the first time I came here, I barely saw any of it. There we have Pyeonghwa Fashion Plaza, and there's just shops going all the way down. And I'm pretty sure I just stayed in Fashion Town. And Fashion Town is huge! Also, there's like the underground element of the whole thing, which is right there. Obviously, we have some football. Do you see how this place never shuts? Because it's literally like half midnight and everyone is just shopping away. I guess there's like a big drop happening over there because there's like a line to get in and stuff. I think a lot of the stores do this thing where they like package things up ready to go or maybe it's like brand new stock or something. I'm not sure what's in the bag because that's what they put your purchases in. So it's like the same bags that they get their deliveries in. Which I think that's where my confusion was. So let's have a look for some clothes. I want this jacket real bad. This one. I really want it but I can't fit it in my luggage. And then they have other floors as well. I wanted to visit this one because I saw that they have like all of the BT21 stuff in there. A lot of this stuff is really expensive if you go to the line store. So I thought, you know, wholesale, let's go and check it out. But honestly, I don't know if that place is open. I don't know if it's linked to the strawberry shop downstairs, which is definitely open. So let's go in and have a look. I find it so crazy that they use IU. IU of all people to promote chocolate when you know all she eats is apples and sweet potatoes. She doesn't eat this. Now in this wholesale shop, they're carrying Innisfree. So Innisfree, you know, is good. They have all those stores, like so many Innisfree stores. Laniche. This one is a whitening one, so I'm not keen to try that. I might come back for this. Then we have this brand, which I know is good. And then we have like the Etude House play sticks. More from Etude House. All of these palettes are 12,800. This one, I think, is the one that we managed to get Cedric's sister. I was trying to find where this is, and there's literally a sign. <laughs> so I'm going to assume it's in here. 
I mean, no one's stopping me. Just walked in and no one's stopping me. I'm gonna go in the lift. No one's stopping me. If you want me to stop, then just say so. I'm gonna go up to the second floor. We need action, sir. We're on the second floor and no one's stopping me. I mean, like all the stationery stuff. I don't know if I included that in a vlog yet, but they have all of that in on some power. They have the bags. What I really wanted was like a little RJ. Maybe even smaller than this, because this is pretty big and I don't know if it's gonna fit in my suitcase. It might be the same as it was at Common Ground. So I was at Common Ground earlier today. Wow, today's been a long day. At Common Ground earlier today, that was like 26,000. Oh, and I'm so sad because my, my Tata power bank got really, like it got stained by this hair tie actually. Like, I'm so tempted to get hair ties. Where is Tata? Like, like just being realistic, usually Cookie is the one that sells out, but lately I've been finding everywhere I go, Tata is the one that is out of stock everywhere. Maybe I should get something Cookie for my sister. This is cute, look. It's like a travel pillow with a hood attached. That's cute. I'm really thinking I might just buy this because it's only 2001. And then I discovered... <laughs> Guys, I just found something really gross. Oh, it's giving me the creeps now. Because I don't know where it came from. Look at it. Where did it come from? Did it fall from the ceiling? What? Ew, everything's creepy now. What are you? Um, I think it's the skin. <laughs> like seriously, if that's the skin, then where is the beast? Where is the thing that left the skin? I've got the creeps real bad. Oh, I've got to clean that up. I've got to do something with that. Oh, I've got to touch it. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps all over my hands, all over my arms. Oh, I'm gonna be able to feel it through the tissue though. Ooh. Well, I'm scared of this bathroom. If you're a skin, then where's your papa? Who left you? Oh my gosh, maybe it's behind the door. No, it's not behind the door. I have to touch it. I have my tissue ready. Uh, oh, 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 I crunched. Oh, there was a crunchy feeling. There was a crunchy feeling. <laughs> Now it's in my toilet. He looks like the Christmas poop. Be gone! Be gone! That! Oh my god, it's floating. You're disgusting. Bye! So the time is now 2.44 a.m. I'm back from shopping at Dong Daemin. I look a wreck. I know I do. But I'm not about to like get ready and do my makeup again and everything like that. Because I literally just want to show you guys the few bits that I bought. It's not, it's not very much. So the first bits are from APM. I think it's called APM. And inside APM, every brand has just a little nook. In the nook are all of their clothes and their clothes are usually really really cool really like really unique like you find like every single stall there is so different i mean i saw so much stuff that i liked but i have got to just think of my suitcases you know i'm going to japan and i can't take that much stuff with me to japan oh one thing as well if you are like me so i'm a uk size like 8 to 10 although like recently they've changed the sizes up like in primark they switched the sizes up so now in primark i'm like a four to six which is insane like i've never been a four to six before and it literally doesn't mean anything like i know my body hasn't changed in american size i think that's like a size four i think that's quite a common size whereas when you go to korea that is your size large a lot of the time so in dongdaemun actually a lot of the time they would say one size fits all and a lot of the time they will just say oh we only have the one size so they'll say oh we only have the one size oh we've only got size small or they'll say oh we have three sizes which will be small medium large and i saw something i really liked i saw a pair of towels that i really really wanted but they only had size small i mean i kind of knew it was going to be a stretch to even ask but you know, I'm a size smaller, extra small at home. So I was like saying to the lady, like, do you think I could wear a size small? She was like, no, 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 no. She was like, you're largey. I was like, okay, I'm largey. I actually went around so many stalls looking for something like this. And I didn't know whether to get like denim or I think they had some that aren't quite denim, like more linen material. But I ended up getting some corduroy ones. It is by a brand called Dore, like D-O-R-E. It's made in Korea. And I think this is a one size item or maybe it's a medium. I'm not sure, but it's these corduroy 
trousers these deep pockets they have ruching at the back to make sure you don't have any of that loose fabric at the back you know it has belt loops although it only has three belt loops it just has the two at the front and then one at the back i do like usually to have like two at the back but it just has one right in the middle and actually like the stitching is on show i quite like this style and they are pretty much a straight leg at the ends so i really like these i actually love these i love them so the price for these was actually just fifteen thousand won. good i love it I love it. Turtleneck. I noticed that's a huge trend in Korea. I guess just because it's winter, people are layering up. And lots of people are wearing like full on turtlenecks, you know, like none of this mock turtleneck detail. We're doing tortoise shell and we're doing tortoise neck this year, season, whatever. This was 5,000 won. That's like three pounds. So actually I was walking around Hongdae with Isis and I saw that lots of the stalls were kind of doing something like this. So a really lacy, frilly high neck layered underneath something else like underneath a cardigan or underneath a blouse underneath even just like a round neck sweater and then you would just have like the frills poking out the neck and i was just like oh my god i love it i love it i love it so in long day moon i was searching for one but i think that it was just maybe like ten thousand or eleven thousand one. i mean it's pretty simple it's just like this lace t-shirt i think the lace is quite sweet though like it's quite a sweet little pattern it doesn't seem too tacky to me i like it i got the laneige water bank gel cream because this was 23,000 won if you were to buy this from the online store then it's 42 dollars so 42 dollars is more like 35 pounds so i saved about 15 pounds by buying this in dongdaebun dongdaebun it's because i have a cold it says made in korea 2093 though i don't think it was made in the year 2093 i don't know what that's supposed to mean i got this from the mask store actually the mask store the mask store it had this on it. I don't know. It just smells like a regular product, I guess. Maybe I should not be buying base products from the Lemon Market. Who knows? Here are the toner. Well, guess what, Karen? I don't have any toner with me right now. And I also have the Lebelage Lemon Detox Peeling Gel. Now, this was a complete shot in the dark. I have never heard of this brand. I've never heard of this product. But I was interested in a lemon peeling product before. And this was only three and a half thousand won. So I thought, you know what? Let me just try this. See if it works i mean it was super cheap so i'm not expecting great things but a lemon peel's a lemon peel right that's actually everything that i got in dongdaemun i know it's not a lot but i do have baggage restrictions so i couldn't go absolutely crazy it's now 2:59, so i'm gonna take my makeup off and i'm gonna try out the products that i just got so okay so i just read the lemon detox peeling gel it says after cleansing excludes moisture spread it all over the face except for the nose and mouth around why would i not put it on my nose i'm gonna put it on my nose rub all over skin lightly like doing massage then wash face off with lukewarm water i assume they want me to do this on dry skin okay what's going on I mean, the trouble with these things is like, I never really know if it's actually exfoliating my skin or is, is it just balling up, you know? Is it pretending that it's exfoliating my skin? Because anything can just ball up, you know? If a product is thick enough and sticky enough, it will just ball up. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually exfoliating your skin, does it? I am feeling more skin come up around my chin and I know that I had some dry skin in that area, especially after the IPL treatment that I had. I'm gonna do my nose. I'm a rebel without a cause. Oh. Yeah, get that dead skin off the end of my nose. Okay. okay, on second thought, I feel like it can't be the product that's balling up because when I first applied this, quite a lot of stuff balled up, quite a lot of stuff was coming off. And I'm applying it again and it's coming up pretty smooth and I have quite a lot of product on and it doesn't matter how much I rub it now, it's coming up pretty smooth, which makes me think that really it was my skin that, that came off it was those dead skin cells because we're going we're doing it again and all of this excess product that's on my face now is not disappearing we're talking about all of this is this my dead skin is this my dead skin i guess it is that's really weird because i do feel like my face feels so soft right now and i have got no blackheads like no blackheads my pores are like empty. My face feels brighter. Like, I don't know. I looked in the mirror just now. My face feels brighter already. I don't know what's going on with that, but that seems like it's a good product. Don't worry about this, by the way. This is just from where I had the injections at the skin clinic the other day. So obviously, whenever you have an injection, there is like a risk that it's going to bruise. It actually didn't bruise at all on this side, but obviously it did over here. But it doesn't matter. We're going to go in with the Laneige Water Bank Gel Cream. 
I hope it's good. I hope it's a legitimate pur pur purchase. A legitimate. I hope my legit. Le I hope my Laneige was a legitimate purchase. So maybe I'll report back to you guys in the morning and just let you know. Hopefully we will have no more acne scars. You know, hopefully my bruising will be gone. Hopefully my face will glow and brighten everybody's day. In the morning, I need to pack. I need to go to the mermaid place. Everything will be explained. So, 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 so.